PSA Collector. What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to show you how exactly I grade my cards and how I clean my cards. Now, I'm talking about raw and ungraded cards that I buy online with the intention of submitting them to PSA. So your cards are going to come in the mail in all different kinds of conditions, okay? And you're going to want to inspect and grade these cards upon receiving them to save time when you're getting ready to submit to PSA. You are already want to know which cards are PSA candidates and are ready to go, okay? You also want to take them out of the cases and clean them. That way you know that they've already been cleaned and looked at and inspected, okay? So you don't want to have to go back through when you're doing your PSA submission. Uh, more specifically, your bulk PSA submissions, you're, you, you don't want to have to go back through and inspect and grade and clean each card, okay? And I'm going to show you the exact steps I take when I clean my cards and inspect my cards in this video. So without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial. All right, so I'm going to start off on these 1993-94 FLIR Ultra Power in the Key inserts. Now these are very, very difficult to grade simply because of the foil front, the foil finish, and the uh, the backs are very easily susceptible to chipping on the edges, okay? So very tough to find in gem mint condition, even in mint condition, guys. These are very tough to find, and that's why I like collecting them because they're hard to grade, okay? Now right off the bat, what I see with this card is the, the whitening down here at the bottom. Okay, that's huge red flag. The, uh, the soft corner right there, that's a huge red flag. You don't want that. More chipping and another white whitening on the corner right there, okay? So right off the bat, this card has been demoted to probably an eight, just on the front alone. Now the top right and left corners don't appear to be that bad. They actually look fairly, nope, never mind. Yeah, you can see there's a whitening on the edge right there. And a little bit right there on that right, but that's very that's minimal. That's minimal damage. It's not too big of a concern. If that was the only issue on the front, that would be we would be in good shape. This left corner looks really good. No whitening. The corner looks nice and sharp. It's not soft and rounded. So that that's the strongest part of the front card on the front of the card is that that top left corner. Okay. But the bottom just killed it. So we're looking at a PSA eight right off the bat. And then the back is honestly in my opinion the toughest to grade on these power in the key inserts and most 90s cards i think uh, early 90s stuff is the backs so you can see there's a little bit of whitening going on on the edge that's considered edge condition okay and then the corner has a white rounded corner which is corner wear and i'm going to duct half a point for that and a half a point for the edge wear so uh, this card in my opinion probably grade a seven PSA seven maybe even a six because that bottom edge looks rough yeah this might actually be a six this entire bottom look just looks shredded now I'm gonna show you guys an SGC eight okay just to show you how tough they are to grade so this is an SGC eight you can see the top is very uh, flat the surface is not uh, broken up. It's not bending. It's not folding. The top right corner looks to be fairly sharp. The top left corner, very fairly sharp. No whitening. It's not round. The left edge, no whitening, no bubbling, no folding. Now that bottom left corner, you can see there's a little bit of whitening going on. You can see a little bit of whitening. And then the bottom right, not too shabby. Looks really good actually. So it's that bottom left is an issue. And then let's look at the back. So the centering is off on this card. And how you can tell the centering is off is this right border compared to this bottom border. Are they even in uh, widths? If not, it's off center. The top, for the most part, is going to be bigger than uh, most cards. However, Ideally, you want to have the, the same width as this, as this, and this. This box wants to needs to be centered uh, evenly in this card, okay? That's ideally would be perfect centering. However, that's not the case on a lot of cards. So PSA knows this, SGC knows this, BGS knows this. They know that it's very difficult to have uh, perfect centering. And sometimes 
the design is made to look uh, be offset so it, it just you know it's 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 all subjective when it comes to centering guys it's very difficult to determine um if it's perfect or not so i look at centering last unless it's a dead giveaway on the border such as this 92 fleer all-stars now obviously we know that the centering on this is going to be based on the width of these borders okay and you can tell it's off center now if there's no well not too bad but it's off center not terrible though now the cards without borders it's not a deal breaker if it's off center okay now don't plan on getting a gem mint 10 however don't be discouraged if everything else uh, looks good like the surface the corners and the edge edges if that, that all checks out and, but it looks a little off center i'd still cement it okay however this card it has some front damage on it has a little it's off center on the back now let's look at the edges and see if there's any other minor errors in it so the edges very minimal whitening looks good very sh fairly sharp corner there's a little bit of whitening going on right there, but nothing too crazy. A little bit whitening going on there, a little a tiny tad bit right there in the corner. And guys, I'm telling you, these small details collectors pay attention to, okay? So you have to pay attention to them as well when you're grading your cards. This bottom edge looks really good, and that bottom corner looks... Oh, there's a little bit of whitening. So you guys can see, not much evident damage to this card, and it's still got a eight near mint to mint grade i think because of the small whitening and being a little off well actually a lot off centered and i'm going to show you guys what a centered card looks like actually i'm going to show you right now let's pull up this michael jordan psa 10 okay check it out this is a gem mint 10 okay <laughs> this isn't my card i pulled it off ebay look at the cor the edges right here sharp no bubbling so you want to look at the edges no whitening the corners are sharp no whitening look at how sharp that is look at the edges no whitening whatsoever so the front is impeccable okay let's look at the back do we see any whitening on the back very little this is very minimal whitening psa knows they're not going to be perfect this is a manufacturing flaw uh the ink over time just wears off like you can see a little bit of whitening going on right here as well a little tiny bit that's natural it's not due to carelessness or you know mishandling and the corners are sharp Look how sharp the corners are. So this is a Gem Mint 10, guys. And, and you have to look at the different cards out there and compare. That way you know what to look for. Because PSA grades each card differently. All right? So very, very difficult to get a Gem Mint 10 on these cards. And I'm cool with that. Um, I'm still looking to see if I can buy raw, ungraded cards on eBay <clears throat> for dirt cheap and submit to PSA and po potentially get uh, PSA 9s or, you know, 8s. I'll be okay with 8s because, like I said, these got, these are very, very difficult to grade, all right? Now, if it has a, a pr protective coating on it, you have to grade the protective coating. Are there surface marks? Are there scuffs, scratches? If there are, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that coating, which this coating looks bad. It looks scuffed up. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and show you guys in a minute how I'm gonna do that. But the back, you can tell the centering is off left to right. See how thin that border is? And see how thick that border is? They're supposed to be as even as possible for good centering. Top to bottom looks okay. They look about the same width. Uh, and also you guys, you wanna look at the edge wear. Is there a whitening going on on the edges? Which on these cards, they look really good. The corners look sharp. The edges look good, no whitening. So simply from the centering on the back and the front, you have to grade the front as well. You can see it's a little off center left to right, just a little bit. It's This is gonna be a PSA nine. However, if I left the coating on, it'll probably be a seven or an eight. But once I take the coating off, it will it should grade out a PSA nine. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that real quick. So you take your paper towel, take the card, set it on the paper towel, take a corner of the card, Turn it over, hold the card in place like this, and then you wanna just start flipping that side. If, if that's not working, which some of these coatings are uh, very difficult to take off. So you just wanna start rubbing your finger on the corner of the card very gently, like you're petting a grasshopper or something, very gentle. If that's not working, which is not working on this one, you might have to get a little rougher with it, okay? Try blowing on it to heat it up. Just like you're blowing on a car window in the wintertime write your name in the on the glass and if it's still not wanting to 
come up go ahead and pull the tweezers out and just gently very gently now it's important to practice on a card that you know is not going to get a gem at 10 okay because you want to get practicing first and then go there see that can you guys see that corner coming up very gently like I'm taking my time with this there you go once you got a good grip on it you pull it back gently just enough to where you get your fingers good grip on it, okay so you pull it back you make sure you didn't damage the corner which looks good there's no folding or bending in that corner so I, I, I think I did a good job. And take a paper towel, fold it over, hold it down with one hand, and then peel with the other hand. Just until you get enough off, and then do the same. Fold it over, and hold it, you got to hold it flat. And there, it should peel right off. Beautiful. Now look at that surface. That's a Gem Mint 10 surface right there. Look at that shine. Beautiful coat, uh, edges, beautiful corners. And the back is beautiful, other than the centering. Let's go ahead and do these Lucas. I'm gonna do one at a time. Pull it out of the penny sleeve. Tilt the card back and forth, left to right. Look for any surface gunk, which is hard to see, which it looks like there's some right here. Looks like there's some surface gunk right here. Also at the top up here, maybe. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna huff on this, like I'm blowing on a car window in the middle of winter, trying to write my name on it. Don't use water, don't use Windex, no chemical, guys. Straight up moisture from your mouth, all right? So once you get it nice and steamy, you are going to place it on the left side of the paper towel. Grab the end of this paper towel. Don't grab right here. Grab the end of it. That way, trust me, guys, just do what I say. <laughs> grab the end of it, fold it over, and hold it down. And then take the other side, fold it over, and just gently wax on, wax off, okay? And if, if it's stubborn, sticky stuff, huff on it some more. And just keep doing that. That's how you clean the cards. There's no other way to do it. Now I say paper towel because I've done use the cloth before and I don't like it sometimes. The, uh, the corner of the cards get snagged. So I like using the paper towel. It's lighter and it doesn't snag as much. Okay. So that's how you clean it. And then when you're done cleaning the front, pick it up, flip it right over and do the back. So fold it up, puff on it, and then rub out the, the gunk and the goo. All right. And with all the fingerprints and make sure that these corners aren't getting nicked by the paper towel. So that's why you want to have all this extra room by grabbing the end and folding it over, all right? So see all this room right here? It's not snagging on the edge right there because you have all this extra room. However, if I pulled like uh, like right here and I started using this edge, see the paper towel? It starts pinching that corner. You don't want to do that. You want to have all the extra room you can. So we fold it over and you get that paper towel away from the card, okay? That's why I like using a big wide sheet. And I like to have the card on one side of the split that way you're you're holding with one side and you're cleaning with the other side all right and when you do the back you just flip sides so this side I'm holding and this side I'm cleaning all right so that's how you clean them. these chromium cards for these cards to clean them I wouldn't really worry about cleaning them too much however when you're inspecting them and if you see anything on them like uh, th there's a spot right there it's kind of hard to see. I would do the same thing. I would just put it on the paper towel, hold it with the other paper towel. That way you're not getting fingerprints all over it. And then just gently wipe it in circular motion like that. Very soft. Pick it back up and you'll see that it's, it's gone. Wipe it right off. You don't need to huff on it. You don't need to put moisture on it. Sometimes it's just a simple swipe will do the trick. Always be better safe than sorry. All right, guys, you don't want to overdo it when cleaning these cards and damage them even more. Now with these non-chromium cards, these foil cards, you have to be extra careful, okay? These select cards, you can't be rough because they have black edges, black corners. If you make a, a small error, if you, you're not paying attention, you can cause whitening on these corners, which will demote the grade significantly. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions, if I failed to cover anything. For the most part, I just wanted to show you uh, what I'm doing right now, the cards that I just picked up and how I'm grading them and um, evaluating them, okay? So like I said, let me know in the comments below if you guys have any questions. I wanna thank you all for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'm gonna be doing a live Q&A again sometime this week, so stay posted for that. I'll see you all in the next one, all right?